morning everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. I am doing a Make It Monday reboot today. I love Make It Monday reboot. And uh, before I get started, I want to just say this apron, I should show it to you. It was made by Mania Grammy over at, Brenda, over at uh, Mania, Mania Grammy's homestead. And I thank her very much. This was a gift for a long time ago long before I even had a channel. Anyway, I'm going to make blueberry grunt. It's a Nova Scotia dip dish. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Um, the reason they call it a grunt is because of the sound that the blueberries make when they're popping. I don't know if we'll hear it or not, but that's the reason they call it a grunt. It's different from a cobbler in the fact that a cobbler is usually baked in the oven and uh, a grunt is done on the stovetop with moist dumplings. Um, but not everybody likes dumplings that are like cooked like in a soup or something. A lot of people don't like that. So what I did was, I didn't show it, but I just made a tray here. There's six of them. Just of, I should bring it to you to see. Just of, um, biscuits. And if somebody doesn't want them, oops, I'm not going to bring it over. I'm going to bring one over because I'm throwing them all over the floor. I haven't even started it, I'm already making a mess. I'll show you the one that fell on the floor. I have to tell you, I, I don't understand why I have to make such a mess. I never used to, but I sure do now. Okay, so this one's going to be in the garbage, but you can see how flaky they are because you can see all the lines in there. Okay, so that's in the garbage. Oh, I didn't even make the garbage. You know, we just washed four minutes ago. Claudine's gonna come in and say, what have you done? I said, I told her to leave the mop bucket there so that I could mop it again, so that's good. Anyway, I'm going to start with the blueberries. That So that tells you what a grunt is versus a cobbler. If you prefer a dry, uh, dumpling then I've got a biscuit and you put it on the biscuit and put the grape, uh, not grapes, blueberries over it. So I do have to read my recipe as I go along because it's been a long time since I've made it. We lived in Nova Scotia for 10 years and the, the 10 years that we were there we really enjoyed ourselves and that was the best best time we had for a long time. Okay I should also tell you that I am making a double batch of the blueberries but a single batch of the dumplings. Because we don't need any more bread products, we already have the biscuits, so I only made a single batch of the biscuits and a double of the But I'm gonna give you those, the original recipe. So, the blueberries here, I have eight cups, but the recipe is four. I have a half, no, the recipe is a half a cup of water, and I have one cup of water, which I'm gonna put in. Now, um, uh, I think that, you know, it's so good that I would love it on, you know, topping for ice cream or if you thickened it up a little bit more, you could make some jam out of it. It's very good. I, oh, I'm going to put the recipe in the description as well. So there is one cup of water, but the recipe is a half a cup. Uh, there's one cup of sugar, but the recipe is a half a cup. And then two tablespoons of butter is the recipe, and I'm going to put in four. So that's all we got is blueberries, water, sugar, and some butter. And I do use real butter for this. I, I, prefer real butter to margarine anyway, so. All right, so, what's next? Bring the blueberries, water, sugar, and butter to a boil, and then uh, make sure you have a tight-fitting lid for your pot. 
cook with the blueberries after they boil for three to five minutes. Okay, so let's get these going. What are we having? This one, I'm not, I'm not recording the video. Oh. It's a yo-yo night. So we've got leftover sandwich and... No, I don't. Okay, well, it's a yo-yo night. It's whatever you want. Okay. Okay, so I'm bringing this to boil. Let me get this. No, I'm going to get my mom's spoon. Everything's better with my mom's spoon. There it is. I love this spoon. My mom had arthritis in her hands. And so she had these uh, air conditioner conduits put on the end of the things. And it worked really good for her. I tried it. It didn't work as well for me, but it was still good. Okay, so I'm going to bring it to the oil. And then cook blue for three to five minutes. Okay, so while I'm doing that, I'm going to make the dumpling dough. So I've got in here two cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, then I'm going to put in one tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, so let's put those things in. This is, uh, use pink Himalayan salt so you can See that? I got the baking powder and the sugar and the salt. All right, so that was it. Now I had a little bit of a trick with my uh, room temperature butter. Hope it doesn't wreck it, but my room temperature butter melted. I put it in the uh, microwave for 15 seconds and it was still hard so I put another for 15 more and it melted. So we're going to while this is coming to a boil I'm gonna keep my eye on it and then I'll simmer it for three to five. Let's see. You see, this is, this is some of the troubles I have. I mean, the reason pudding doesn't like me handling knives because my hands don't work, so I don't have any control over I'm you know, very unsteady on my feet. These berries were so beautiful. We had, they were on sale, and we had a whole bucket of them that we ate. Um, and then, oops, there's one little stuff I forgot. It's all right. All right, so that's just getting started. And uh, my mom, she could cook anything. She really could. She could just, she didn't need a recipe half the time. She just could cook. And I thought that was so wonderful. All right, I see, I, I'm so scatterbrained. I forgot I was making dumplings. All right, so I'm going to uh, get these dumplings mixed up. I'm going to use a little spoon that has the holes in it. There it is. A little spoon of holes in it. sit down here and mix it closer to it, fall to the floor. All right, so I've got those things in there. I like having my ingredients all measured out before I start cooking because I'm so slow at doing these things that it's not very good for me to not having done. My videos will be far too long. So. Alright, so let's get that thoroughly mixed. I also have a little bit of whole wheat flour in this uh, all-purpose flour because I had a little bit left and I just mixed it all together. So there's the flour, baking powder, sugar and salt. I think I had the butter next. Oh, using your hands, rub the butter into the flour until the mixture is coarse and crumbly. Well, you know what? I'm not going to do that because I melted it, so I'll try to make it coarse and crumbly. 
add the milk, then use a fork to mix everything together into a soft dough. Alright, so let's put the butter in. Well, there was some of that that wasn't melted, so that was good. I'm going to stir my blueberries and I'll show it to you. Oh, it's making lots of juice. It had that one cup of water, but it's starting to make a lot of juice. Okay, so I'm going to so I don't stay in my I don't think I can lift that. Let me bring you over. There. You see that? Okay. I am not very steady on these things, so unfortunately. You'll hear me talking a lot about my parents. I was very much loved by my parents, and I love talking about them. I miss them desperately. They had their kitchen redone probably 35 years ago now, and they put Corian countertops in their kitchen, and where they cut out for the sinks, they gave me these big boards, and I have two of them, and I've been using them for years and years and years. They're very heavy, and if you get a marker scuff on them, you can just sand them down. I don't bother with that, but you can just sand them down. And... All right, these are coming on good. So keep them going, and I'll start mixing this buttery. I wish I was a little more steady on my feet. Can you see what I'm doing when you can't? Okay. I'm going to do the first part with a fork because it said that it would help it get crumbly. I don't have a pastry blender or anything like that. I've never needed one. I just use my hands most of my life and now I can't use them. I'm going to use my hands with a flush. That's the best way to make it crumbly, I think. Now, when you're making regular biscuits and you need cold, cold butter, take your vegetable grater and grate the butter while it's cold, put it back in the freezer, and then bring it out when you're putting it in and do it flaky, flaky biscuits. All right, so there's my hands. All right, so... Use your hands, rub them with better. Of course, you add the milk and use a fork to mix it. Okay, so I want to use a fork to mix it now, so I'm going to have to pause you for a minute while I wash my hands. Okay, we're back. Washed up those couple of dishes, too. All right, I'm going to turn it back so you can see the dumpling bowl. Hope you can't see them on the floor because now it's all full of flour. But anyway, I'm going to check these blueberries because I think they're almost boiling. Oh, they're so much along the edges. Yep, they're starting to do so. Let's go three minutes. So what is it? So 4.25. So 4.25. Now I'm going to add the milk here. Get it mixed up together. So, hello. Did you get everything in the water? I did. I'm setting up the hose. I got you your first ruby red dipper. Oh, let me show them. 
look at this. My first ruby red dipper off of my, <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be a cherry tomato. It's a, a giant cherry tomato. Oh, I could almost make a sandwich from that. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> I'm going to just set this aside here while I finish stirring that. Because otherwise I'll squish it. That wouldn't be good. All right, so let's see. We might let it go five. We'll see, because if we let it go five, it'll start to thicken a bit. All right, so let's get this mixed with the fork. Alright. This is going to be ready just the perfect time for dessert. We're having yo yo for dinner tonight, which is just you're on your own. So there's leftover Chinese food in there. There's leftover pasta casserole. Bill had a supper sandwich last night. I thought he had half of it left, but he just told me he didn't, so I'm not sure what you'll have. You'll find something. It's putting a day off from cooking. I can't even pick up the spark to stir this. I'm gonna have to do it with a spoon. I have to tell you I really miss using my hands. I really do. Oh, it's really boiling now. Okay, it's been three minutes. Check it and see if it needs to go for five. Boiled enough. All right, I'm going to turn it down now. Uh, three minutes, reduce heat to medium low and continue simmer for another circuit about eight to ten minutes. So, ten minutes, I'll do them. Okay, let's get them down here. All right, so uh, ten minutes, 435. All right, so let's get this dough here mixed. I'm not having as much luck with this one here. It's much harder to stir. But he's busy outside here. I would have her help me, but... This would have been easier for me if I used my mixer, but... I don't really want to use a mixer on it, so... If pudding comes in again, I'll get her just to give this a little... Bowl the berries you're cooking, make the dumpling dough, mix together the flour. Okay, we did that using our hands with salt, frozen caramel milk, and the soft dough, set it aside. So after I mix this up, I set it aside. Once the berries are cooked, okay, all right, so we have to wait for the berries to cook. So I'm not going to make you wait 10 minutes with me. I'll give you a break and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're on the last step. So this is mixed up pudding, came in and she mixed this up. And she got me a piece of parchment paper uh, that we cut apart so we could have the right size. And I'm going to just give this one last stir before I put them in there. Now most people have made dumplings for soup and stuff, so they do know how to do it. You can't really hear these grunting, but supposedly that's why they do that. Now it's just pretty on simmer, so I better put this down because we have a gas stove, it's very hot. There we are. So, now I'm going to put those dumplings in there. I'll move back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Not that I'm very good at it. I should bring you to see inside the pot. 
That says do it till all the dough is gone, so I guess that's what I'm gonna do. There, that's as good as I can get that. I wish I had a better tripod and stand and whatnot, but I don't, so. All right, so let's go here. This is hard when I don't have my fingers. I keep saying that, I'm sorry. I shouldn't keep saying that, but it is. I do have a thing to hold these, but I'm just gonna use my fingers. It's just us eating, so here we go. First one in. So we just wanna take this and drop it by blobs in there. Like with biscuits, you form them. Oops. And this, we're just dropping in there. I love the soup with dumplings. And you know, it was a good way when we had young kids to stretch our dollar because dumplings made everybody get fuller and it didn't cost a lot. We were having like a soup with put cheese in them, like garlic. Oh my goodness. I should, while I'm doing this, I should tell you a thing that we used to do, a friend of mine, Heather Shimofen, in, uh, oh, I'm falling, yeah. Heather Shimofen again, I, uh, we would call each other in the morning, and it was getting boring trying to figure out what we wanted to make for dinner. So what we did was uh, we'd call each other and give the other person a list of ingredients that we had. Both of us were struggling a little bit financially, and so we didn't have the best of ingredients. And uh, the other person would tell them what they could make with it. And we learned to make, uh, that's where I learned to make these dumplings, because we learned how to make a lot of things. But maybe we weren't used to. Heather, if you're watching, I sure am glad to have known you. All right, that's the end of the dough. So now it says, cover your pot with parchment paper. I'm going to turn this up a little bit now. What does it say about the temperature? Let's see. What does it say about the temperature? Um, oh, God. I'm starting to move all over the place. I was very calm. Okay, there we go. So I don't need to uh, put any more up. I, I've got it on the perfect simmer. I'm going to put the lid on now. We need a tight fitting lid. And we put our parchment paper over like that and put a tight fitting lid. Pardon my own head. This is the pots and pans that I bought for Claudine at Christmas time. They're very good, but oh my gosh, they're really. I'm going to wash my hands and then make sure that's on really tight. And now we're going to simmer it for 15 minutes, so I'll be back. Make it Monday is nearly done. Can't wait here. Okay, I'm going to give you the last instruction because it's a little bit different. Now we put the parchment paper on there, so it says remove the lid from the pot carefully. It says carefully in big letters. Lift off the parchment paper. Be mindful of the steam underneath the paper, which will burn your skin. The top of the paper will be quite wet from the condensation of cooking. Do not let it spill into the pot. Serve blueberry grunt warm from the pot topped with ice cream or whipped cream or both. But we're not going to do both. We're going to do one. I'm just going to do a little taste test here. So let's uh, get this off carefully. I'm going to move my chair a little bit so I'm not so close to the stove. Alright, so, here we go. Now you see, this is going to have all this condensation drop onto that uh, paper, so we're going to have to take it off very carefully. Come on, 
Do you want me to take it off? Or you just pass it over? Mm -hmm. You can do it if you want to just take it really quickly so that, that water doesn't go into the pot. Okay. There we go. All right, now you see the water that's in that lid. Now we don't want that to spill into the pot. So let's see. Okay. All right. Oh, look at that. It's looking good. You know what? I'm not sure if it's cooked. Let me just take a look in here. I'm not sure if I took one of these. I'm not sure if those dumplings are done. Mm -hmm. I'm very tired now, so I'm sure it is. Okay, we're just going to check. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, they are done. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. done. All right, so I'm going to uh, scoop it out here. That's not right, so this is right, so. Okay, so we're going to get Bill one, and then we're going to... Pop up with ice cream. Yeah. Okay, so okay, this is Bill's. I'll hold this bowl. So I'm going to give him a small... The dumpling, so you can compare the two. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm going to it now. You're supposed to be able to see the dumpling. Oh my god, what do you think? Can I help you? Yes, you're going to have to. All right, hang on one second. Okay. All right. We're done. We're going to taste test it now. And uh, so Claudine turned it off so that we could sort of do it a little bit neater. So we've got the one that's the moist dumpling that's in the pot. And then we've got the baked one. So we're going to see the Moist dumpling we... from the pot. And then this is the baked, there we go, like um, biscuit covered blueberry. And we'll see which one we like better. And Bill's got both on his plate. So let's take Bill first. What do you think, Bill? It's hot, so be careful. Mm. Nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. Now, do you do you like which one better, or which one have you tasted both? I don't the, know. This one here is the dumpling, and this one over here is the baked in the oven. The grunt is actually uh, the moist dumplings, and the other is just biscuits with sauce. Like the dumpling. You like the dumpling better, okay? Yeah. So, uh, buddy, you can take the bowl over there and take a taste of it. You know, I'll try this one here because it's got both in it. That's good. No, that's got dinner. It's got both in it. Oh, or, oh no, this one just has the dumpling. It says the dumpling. Okay, I'm just trying the dumpling. First. You try the dumpling and then I will uh, try the dumpling. Right, go. That's really, really good. Is it? Very, very good. All right, so uh, you know which one you're trying to I'm going to try the, the other baked one now, yeah? I like the dumpling ones. It's mm. kind of nice to cook it right in the pot like that. Yeah, like it's very. I mean, it usually wouldn't take very long. But it's just more of a soda biscuit, you know. Yeah. Mm. I could eat either one of them just fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to spill on me. We said today was yo-yo for dinner, so I think it's blueberry grunt for dinner mm -hmm. with ice cream. <laughs> oh, I, like that. I do like that one. I think I like that best. I'll try the other one though. Well, I'll try and finish this one if I can. Well, I'll get one bite. And uh, Claudine's friend Jody is going to come back tonight. She wants to taste test as well. So. Yeah, she ever had it? I think she has. She's from Newfoundland. She probably had it. Oh, I can't get it is this a Newfie dish? No. Nova Scotia. Two things that are very. Easterners, new. though. Easterners. Uh, two things that are very. Um, East Coast. Cool. Mm hmm. So that's just a firmer one. Yeah, I think I like the other one better. I'm but anyway, try it again um, if I have to. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll let Judy taste it before I finish up. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for joining me on Reboot Monday, Make It Monday, for the Nova Scotia Blueberry Grunt. I have one other Nova Scotia dish that I wanted to do in the spring. It's a spring dish. I'm just going to keep going on this so one. So next spring I'm going to do it. It's called Hodgepodge. And it's made with all the spring vegetables. So I'm going to make that next year. Anyway, I'm rambled on long enough. Have a good day. We'll talk to you all tomorrow. I thought I'd just pop on here at the end and let you know Jody didn't come over tonight, so she unfortunately didn't get to taste test the uh, blueberry grunt. We taste tested it and loved it, so we ate her portion. <laughs> all right. Okay, I'm going to leave you for that, and I hope you try this recipe because it's very good. All right. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.